Hi guys, today, after the other update which we've done, which was 16.3, and if you haven't getting that one, if you're getting that one, it will be up here, so you'll be able to use that one and see what's going on. This is 22.20.5, 20, and we in the UK only got two things but it's a host of things for everyone. So I'm gonna go through everybody's stuff that you would have got, and we're gonna go specifically here and see what we've got, and then we'll follow through the other countries and around the world so that we know what's coming for everyone. So let's have a look at this then, and we're gonna make sure that we go and delve right into it and look at every aspect and see how good it is and look at it right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Okay, so what we got is speed assist and what that says is speed assist now leverages your car's cameras to detect the speed limit signs. This improves the accuracy of speed limit data on local roads and on highways in selected countries detected speed limit signs will be displayed in the driving visualization so guys what that must mean from what i read is that they've now made the visualization on the motorways better so that's where we're going to go with that we're going to look at that and see if the cameras are detected on the gantries on the motorway so we're going to look at that so that takes care of that now the second thing we've got in the uk was to do with if you change your tires and you change your rims you can now adjust it accordingly so let's see how we do that and let's see what the notes tell us okay what it says is reset the learn tire settings directly after tire rotation swap or replacement to improve your driving experience to reset tap controls service wheels tire and configuration tires so let's do that so we tap in here we go to service see where it says wheel tire and configuration there you go if i change it to 18 we had that 18 aero cap kit if we change it to uber turbine gunpowder <laughs> we have that one good okay so let's put it back to what we have 18 error oh look there's more 18 error is where we had it that's fine we're not going to update it so we're going to peel that off like that we'll go back and it still remembers where we were if we go to tires we can select the tire seasons right look watch winter all seasons or summer or select tire season Press brake pedal with key present to update. So let me just come back out of this, go back in it, go back into tires, and it hasn't got anything on there just to select the tire season. So we haven't got anything at the moment. So fine. Okay, get rid of that. Now, what a few around the world have got that we didn't get because we already have it in the model 3 is colorization so all you're going to do now is to go to colorization you're going to go into the little window here where it says toy box and there's your colorization then you can customize and we can change that color to red we can go right there to make it brighter red we can change it to metallic we can change it to solid and we can change it uh, so so we've had it a long time now, oh, a good few months, around Christmas time we got the visualisation. Um, but you now, new Model S owners and X owners, will have that ability. So you now have it, and that is great. Now this one's come worldwide. We didn't get it in the UK, but it is worldwide. And it's on the S3, X and Y, and it says, Polish voice navigation. Your navigation voice guidance is now available in Polish. To switch your language setting, tap controls, display, voice, navigation language. Now, if you look at what the screen and what it looks like, you can see all we've got is those items there. We haven't got Polish and we haven't got Turkish. What we're going to look at now is the state of charge when you arrive. 
this is an undocumented change and it's something that uh, has been added in and we now have it. So let's have a look at it. So being an undocumented change, it's available worldwide for the S, X, 3 and Y. And it says this, the state of charge upon arrival. Tesla's navigation system will once again display your estimated range upon arrival at your destination near your estimated time of arrival. So as you see, it says work immediately and then it gives me the actual work range that's left at that point. So that's good. And I dare say it's only percentage. If we turn it, if I change that to miles, it still only says percentage. So there you have it. It gives you the percentage. It doesn't turn back to miles at that point. So you only have it at 31% for me. Okay, let's look on to the next one. So this is going to be available in the UK. And what it says is on the model, new Model S, 3, new X and Y, it says seatbelt system enhancement. This enhancement built upon your vehicle's superior crash protection based upon regulatory and industrial standard crash testing by now using tesla vision to help offer some of the most cutting edge seatbelt pretensioner performance in the event of a frontal crash your seat belts will now begin to tighten and protect properly restraining occupants early in a wider array of frontal crashes now, obviously, because this is mechanical on my Model 3, which is 2019, it's not going to have that facility. It's probably for the new plaids and the new S's and X's that are probably electronic. So this is not going to come to us. Um, anyone that's got an older model won't be getting that. Right, let's move on. Now, everybody's going to get this now. I've had it for a while because we had FSD, but you're going to get an actual chime when you go past a green traffic light now it's going to actually show you that that's changed from green to red and you're going to see that so how you get to it is you press on the little icon and you see where it says autopilot there you hit the autopilot you scroll all the way up and just there green traffic light chime you put that on and i'm going to show you and it looks like this so you can actually see it here Okay, sadly, we didn't get this in the UK. It's something that's coming on the new S's, the new X's, Y's and 3's. It's all to do with Sentry. They've actually given you a bit better. Let me show you what I mean. So this isn't relevant in the UK, but it says Sentry Mode. Sentry Mode continuously monitors your car's surroundings while it is locked and parked. When enabled, the car automatically enters the standby stage with its camera and sensor remain powered to detect the potential threat and trigger an appropriate response state alert or panic. To enable sentry mode, go to the control safety and sentry mode. If a minimum threat is detected, such as someone leaning on your car, sentry mode switches to the alert state displaying a message on your touchscreen indicating the cameras are recording if a major threat is detected such as someone breaking a window sentry mode switches to panic state in this state touchscreen increases to maximum brightness and you receive a notification on your mobile app to save the video clip captured while in sentry mode you must insert a formatted usb flash drive into one of the usb ports beforehand sentry mode requires more than 20 percent battery to operate if your battery falls below 20 percent while the feature is active sentry mode turns off and you'll receive a notification on your mobile app this feature only applies to israel Sentry mode has been added with some minor modifications to support local laws. No sound when the alarm sounds. If you already have sentry mode, it will continue to be available as it was before. Okay, this is if you've got an MCU2, MCU3, S3, X and Y, but not applicable in the UK, online radio. Your internet radio service provider has been switched to Ethereal Sound, providing an improved selection of radio stations and content for your drive. Okay, the next one is for the Raven Model S and Model X, not relevant in the United Kingdom. Tesla Adaptive Suspension, 
Tesla Adaptive Suspension will now adjust ride height for the up-and-coming rough road selection. This adjustment may occur at various locations, subject to the availability as the vehicle downloaded rough road map data generated by Tesla cars. The instrument cluster will continue to indicate when the suspension is raised for comfort. To enable this feature, tap Controls, Suspension, Adaptive Suspension, Damping, and select Comfort or Auto Setting. So there was a lot there, wasn't there? But now we're going to take it out. And if you remember from the previous 16.3, the parking was atrocious, parallel parking. So we're going to take it out now. We're going to test the camera system, see how that works. We're going to show you the green light itself and we're going to show you a few other things now have been added so we're going to see how they work and we're going to test it so let's go right into this now it's better but it's still too wide okay what you can see from this clip it's 60 and a little bit under the gantry now we're going under the gantry 70 and then we've gone past that and then it's gone down to 60 again a little bit nearer so it's working very quick and very well so the speed assist Absolutely brilliant, very pleased with it. Green traffic light chime. <laughs> a chime will play when the traffic light you're waiting for turns green. If you're waiting behind another car, the chime will play when the car advances, unless the traffic aware cruise control or autopilot is active. When traffic light and stop sign control is activated, a chime will play when the car can confirm to proceed through the green traffic light. So is it a gimmick? More likely, really. I mean, it just works, but it's it's okay. It's it's just as easily good just watching your traffic lights and go when it says go, and not rely on the car. But hey ho, that's how it is. Well, my verdict: the assisted speed assist absolutely amazing. It works so good that when it sees the gantry, it then changes as quick as they can change it in the control center. It changes instantaneously. So that's brilliant. You won't see it on the gantry though. So if you're looking for the uh, cameras, you don't see that. All you see is it changes. The parallel parking is still rubbish, not good. So I'm afraid that's work in progress. All those that got the other things, I'm really pleased for you. It's the first time that they're actually making it for everyone rather than just for a few. So that's good too. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, don't forget to leave me a comment in the old uh, comments if you've got this new update and you've used it and you found some things that I haven't seen. Let me know in the comments down below. Until the next time, I look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching Mal's Back Talking Tesla. You've joined over a thousand followers worldwide. So don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe now. It's free.